Well, good morning, you guys. Wow, this has been um, just an awesome sunrise so far. I've been up here for maybe about 10, 15 minutes now, and the sun is starting to rise over the hills, and we just have these beautiful god rays coming out of one of the mountains from right behind it because the sun is just perfectly positioned, and we just have these beautiful beams of light shouting out into um, the valley, into the Kings Canyon Valley. And uh, yeah, just what an incredible experience. It's always so good just to be a part of Sunrise and witness um, the world just coming to life. It's one of my favorite things about doing wildlife photography to the extent that um, I'm able to do it at. So really exciting. Today I just wanted to bring you guys along with me just to experience just a day out amongst the hills and the mountains on a beautiful sunrise once again. And uh, hopefully we can capture some really cool wildlife species. There's been some really interesting reports here this year. It's been interesting to see the habitat changes throughout each year in each season uh, that I've been here. And uh, this year, for some reason, this summer, there's been some interesting sightings of some not so common sparrows around here in these hills. So hopefully we'll be able to capture some of those if we get lucky and bump into some. Um, and who knows, have uh, some good photos and a good opportunity today. So excited to bring you guys along with me. Let's get to it. So we've been having a, what seems to be two California Thrasher um, calling around here, which is really exciting because uh, they're not a bird that I get to see often because they are so, so deeply hidden into brush. Um, but they're super cool looking. They have like this very sharp curled bill, almost looks like a sickle bill. And it just is a really interesting and cool bird to see. But unfortunately I wasn't able to get great shots of it um, just because they were so buried deep down. I did pull out pull out one shot, but it was far from a great aesthetic shot. But you kind of can see that that uh, beak um, shape in them, which is still really cool. But who knows, maybe uh, we'll be able to get some more shots if they decide to come up a little bit further out of the bushes and trees. Um, but yeah, very, very cool, exciting bird to see. All right, you guys, so what's kind of cool is you can always uh, 
kind of take note of the wildlife that's been around in these areas. We have like a, a little piece of a snake skin actually over here. Um, I would not know what type of snake skin it is. I'm not that advanced, but got some snake skin here that I noticed on the way up. And then over here we have uh, some deer poop, which you can see some's a little bit more fresh and some's a little bit more old. And I've been noticing a lot of deer poop um, along the way um, across this uh, path. So it's kind of interesting in that this definitely must be a route that they uh, frequent quite often at least. Um, this is kind of like a dirt hill or a dirt road up a hill that was used to be a service road, but is now just kind of permanently closed. So it's a really cool place to come up and hike because no one's here. Um, it kind of, you don't really know it exists. You kind of just take like this one car turnout. Um, but, uh, but yeah, so it's kind of exciting. It's about maybe half an hour, 45 minutes into sunrise now and uh or after sunrise now and uh, we had a cool experience with the thrasher and um it's been pretty quiet so far so i haven't gotten to see any of those uh rare sparrows that i was hoping for yet but i have um heard some great blue gray gnat catcher and so i might try to grab some photos of them um because they're a cool bird that i've never been able to get good photos of so kind of see what happens there Guys, so this is really, really exciting. We actually got one of those rare sparrows to finally pop out. And uh, it's a sagebrush sparrow. So you guys might know from uh, other videos how fond I am of these guys. But what's really cool is we're in the Sierra Nevadas and they're not really supposed to be here. So this is um, a totally different mountain range than where I found them before. And this is a really cool and really exciting moment getting to see these guys. That is, I can, oh man, I cannot believe my luck. They're a little bit, uh, they're very skittish and they have a lot more areas to hide than the other place that I capture them at. So um, it's, uh, I've been able to pull off about one really good shot so far, but, um, but nothing, uh, nothing else much beyond that. But uh, yeah, very cool to be able to see them. And you might've been able to hear that just now. There's also some blue gray gnat catchers um, around. Um, and so hopefully I'll be able to get one of the shots of them like I was. I just got the shot I was looking for of this gnat catcher. Oh. oh, they have such a beautiful bold eye ring and just this like nice bluish, almost silverish gray type of color. And they're a cute little bird. Um, <laughs> just adorable little bird. And I got his head posed just, oh, just so perfectly in this one position right here. And uh, that was, that was really, really cool. Um, got his head, head pose perfectly, a beautiful shaded background, and just him popping out with this glow of the sun on him. And that was really, really awesome and exciting. What a great day to be out amongst the mountains during sunrise. And I hope you guys enjoyed following me along today. Got a beautiful shot of some sagebrush sparrow, a blue gray gnat catcher, and even a northern flicker near the end. And really hope you guys enjoyed tagging along with me. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe below. And I can't wait to see you guys in the next wildlife photography adventure.